with y'all, it's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I know we didn't uh, sh uh, stream uh, Monday Night Raw tonight. Uh, we are we decided to take a break because today, as of me filming this, is uh, Monday night. Um, today is uh, President's Day. It's a holiday, so on holidays we like to, you know, kind of rest up and chill as if we would if we were at a traditional nine to five. So uh, I know he was spending time with his family and the kids. His kids was out of school today, so understandably we just kind of you know we're going to relax and uh continue recording throughout the week and we'll probably do the smackdown live stream uh this friday so be on the lookout for that but i was able to check out some of the clips from monday night raw and the clip that i really want to talk about is Sami Zayn and the kevin owens uh interaction we saw tonight First things first, Sami Zayn still got an amazing reaction, even in defeat. Uh, it's just one of those things where he right now is one of the hottest things in the company. I mean, some could say it's, you know, <clears throat> well, I think a lot of people still think Sami's still a little bit hotter in the sense of baby face wise, but it's definitely between Cody and Sami. And after that match uh, at Elimination Chamber, which was a great storytelling, fantastic wrestling atmosphere, you only see these every now and then. It, it was cool to see that energy still carried over uh, on Monday Night Raw. So that was a beautiful thing to, th thing to see. And I like... <clears throat> how he's still on the on the path of trying to destroy the bloodline and when he brought out kevin owens of course the crowd went crazy the crowd was loving it brought out kevin owens and he basically was telling him look i messed up you know i, I get it you don't have to forgive me i understand but I, I thank you for for saving me i thank you for helping me and he put out there look <clears throat> I understand we don't have to be cool, but you can't defeat the bloodline on your own. I can't defeat the bloodline on my own. Let's team up and take them down together. Crowd's wanting it, and I love the move that Triple H called here. He, he put a hold on it. Kevin Owens wasn't immediately, you know, uh, I guess you can say ready to team up with Sammy. In fact, he was like, Nah, I don't need your apology. I don't need your thanks. Um, the only reason why I came out there is for myself. Because I already told you in the past, I'm done with you. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm done with you. I'm good on you. I only came out there for myself. When my family saw me get destroyed at the Royal Rumble, you know, it, it, it hurt them. So when you was about to get destroyed, <clears throat> I came out there to make sure that they didn't have to see that. And also, you sat there for a while and let me get destroyed. And I like the attention to detail there. They didn't just, he, Kevin Owens didn't just forget everything and then, you know, be like, all right, let's cool, let's, let's hug it out. Let's take them down together. I appreciate that. Because if you remember in the Royal Rumble at the end, Kevin Owens was getting, he was already sent to the gulags before he got handcuffed and handcuffed and was about to get hit with the chairs. He was already gone and Sammy didn't stop it. All he said, all right, that's enough. He didn't stop it until the chair got involved. <clears throat> and I, that's, I appreciate that. And you, you know, you can also call back to war games. Sammy Zayn <clears throat> pretty much, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, well, I wouldn't say he screwed him over, but he ended up giving Kevin Owens the, uh, the low blow, man. And that caused the bloodline to win. So, in my opinion, I think that's smart on the sense of just hold off. Don't give the fans what they want yet. We know it's coming. We know it's going to happen. But we have six weeks to build up to this show. So, you got to make sure you take your time. You don't want to, oh, they team up together and now we got six weeks, five more weeks for them to try to take them down. No, build up to it build that crescendo because it's already at a fever pitch now with sammy just people want sammy just to accomplish the goal which is to take the bloodline down so you gotta build up to that moment and i'm all for that so i appreciate that and after that he's like nah i'm good i'm gonna do this by myself even you know even in now even you asking now so i'm gonna do this by myself i'm good on that and he walks away and i i really do 
appreciate that that was a nice i was concerned were they gonna jump the gun here but triple h nope we're gonna wait we're gonna build to this and then only then we'll we'll go from uh we'll 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 take it to that next level once the time is right which will probably be right before wrestlemania that's when the time will be right to front for them to finally join forces because they still have to do something with the with the jay storyline and when i like to let one of the last things kevin Owens says why don't you ask your buddy jay and i like that because now i can't see i can't wait to see what happens on smackdown how's this jay situation gonna fall out because if you guys remember at elimination chamber jay didn't want to do it but jay ended up catching the spear inadvertently by Sami Zayn. and what i think could possibly happen Roman Reigns, being the uh, the manipulator that he is, he can bring that up. Maybe that's the thing that has Jay come back to the bloodline or side with them more. He speared you. You you want to help a person that actually hurt you? Granted, it wasn't but it wasn't intentionally. And I can see maybe Jay, you know, getting getting you know kind of manipulated into that and possibly once again aligning himself with the bloodline and maybe that's how the story will continue to catapult itself to where we get to at the wrestlemania wrestlemania where we we see the usos most likely going against sammy and kevin owens which honestly is going to be a fantastic match that match is going to be fun that crowd is going to be ready for them to drop the tag titles i can't wait i think that's the direction that they're going in and then I also like the, the segment. Once again, Baron Corbin stay getting the short end of the stick. Uh, um, I believe Baron Corbin had a, a attack Sami Zayn or whatnot. And, you know, he's pretty much talking trash. Like, I knew you weren't going to be able to do it, Sami. I'm the only one that beat Roman. I'm the last person that's pinned Roman Reigns. And then, you know, it's an impromptu match set up. And the crowd loves it. Anything Sami did, the crowd was eating it up. It was good to see. He got the one, two, three victory over baron corbin corbin can't catch a win <laughs> he can't catch a win he is he is in last week he enhanced the storytelling well he he pretty much a talent he was a talent talent enhancement even though he had some offense he was there to pretty much uplift cody rhodes and cody's fighting him in the suit and the same thing here with sammy he was pretty much there to uh give the win to sammy Zayn. so ultimately i love this segment this is one of those things where i i really uh wanted to talk about i did check out the cody rose segment uh i enjoyed that as well i like what they're doing there it's really you know paul Heyman creating that dissension trying to let him know you don't want these championships look at how much stuff you have to do for them and you know throwing little jabs and stuff like that and I, i'm liking that they're they're teasing they're waiting at some point they're gonna have to face to face and i think things are gonna really intensify i can't wait but other than that this had this segment was great it's they're they're, they're continuing this storyline of when will kevin owens and Sami Zayn finally say screw this let's work together let's take them down i can't wait so comment down below let me know how you guys feel about the storyline being told now of the tease of kevin owens and Sami Zayn working together do you guys how many of you guys still prefer sammy being involved in the main event of wrestlemania i know a lot of people are still on that train hoping and praying it happens let me know if you're one of those people that feel like you know you would still want to see that over where the story is going now me personally i enjoy where it's going now I have I've, I've come to accept what the situation is and the situation is the main event will be Roman and uh, Cody Rhodes which I think I think is going to heat up as the weeks go by so we got to definitely give it a chance um, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and I am still you in the speed of YouTube wrestling champ and also I am your in the clutch world heavyweight champion man appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one Peace.